Right then, nearly at the car park everyone. Here's this little pink lodge. Little pink lodge. Of course I haven't done um poor lock uh, poor yeah, poor lock, kelv, all those East Quantock head, all that I haven't done now for a couple of years. They're all due. That's where I used to have Alberta because I, I need transport for those ones. <sighs> Mind you, I've been busy, weather permitting. I'm nearly there. Here's the little pink house. It's got a name, I can't remember it, but... Oh yeah, Hair Nap Cottage, that's right. Hair Nap Cottage. Of course it had to be, didn't it? We've just come down Greater Hair Nap. And uh, there's lower or higher Hair Nap, one, it's one of those. Oh. We're nearly there now, nearly at the car park. This is where I'm going to feel butterflies because I will be able to see Alberta in my mind. My lovely van that brought me here, helped me heal my mind when she took me all over the country. But, um, yeah, if you follow it that way, you can come into the back. Shall we do that? Shall we come into the back of the car park? This is what Ma Mary or... I can't know what she called Mary or Jill. This is the route she took. She used to come out of the car park from the back. The car park's just down there behind those trees. Yeah, we'll do it from this angle. You can also get down to Hodger's Coombe from here. somewhere. Not a deer in sight today. They don't like being hunted. They know it's the weekend as well and there's lots and lots of people out. Here's a track over here. This takes us into the back of the car park. And the, the village green. Where our small children we used to gather with our schools to go on nature trails for the day. Came here with my parents, my dad, my sisters, and came here as a child with my friends. Came with my later with my own children and some friends. Oh, you know, when I was older. Here we go. Coming in the back way. Here we go. Yeah, there's a few cars there. She used to come down there. Wouldn't it be funny if I met her today, Jill? This is it. I'll take you onto the road to lead you out onto the main road. Just got to be careful going down here. It might be a bit slippery. I'm keeping the camera rolling. I'm going to run. Safer. Oh, I bet there's no... I can see one bench free. Here we go. Here's the car park. There are some benches free. At the moment, I get there before anyone else. This is where I used to park, Alberta. Yeah, 
feel sad. This is where we came. I was always to park her here on the end. Because she was big and cumbersome. Over and out. This is a green. We just had a picnic. There's people, there's lots of people about. Right, I've left the Holford Green. I'm on the way back now, but I'm going to take a leisurely walk. Because I've just had a load of cheese and it always gives me indigestion. So far, nobody's following me. So there's no pressure from the rear. There were a group of people probably my age, maybe a bit older, ahead of me. Four. Two men, two women. Um, I think they looked a bit older. Down there you've got the fountain and you've got the pentagon shaped house. There's people in the garden so I shan't. Yeah, you can see the fountain a bit from here. Remembering this used to be Huguenot's um, selected area for their weaving and they needed the looms and all that used to power use water to generate power. They had cottages in in this area as well. Some are still visible, they're ruins. But it's all been spoken about before. It's a big history. What I always say to anyone if I haven't given them enough explanation when I'm going along is you can look it up and if you can try and visit this place I've been coming here since a small child and uh, sometimes there are large gaps in between when I moved away and I lived away um, when I was busy working or doing other things but since retirement I've taken every chance to use this place to help heal me and to enjoy its beauty the two go together and people think oh why do you walk alone it's a different experience with other people I'm not saying I don't like doing it it's just that I've got a finite amount of energy. They're either too fast for me or they get... They can't really... They're being patient. I don't want people to feel like that. You know, I, I stop and start when I feel like it. I, I'm, I don't like being a sheep, but I will become one if someone else is taking the group. And it's different when you're a sheep. It's very different. It doesn't bother me being walking alone, so I don't feel alone. I've never been like that. Us hermits, we like solitude. Time to reflect. That's why some people escape the cities. That's why people come out here. With peace. With beauty. The smells. Everything. Even in the winter it's magical. Even in a storm, it's magical. But it has got busier in these little hills. It's got, you know, they've become known, you see. And uh, I don't want them to lose that quietness that they have still. I haven't seen one deer today, but that can happen. Once the hunting season starts, the deer really do start to 
get timid and do their own risk assessments of humans. So I'm not surprised I haven't seen any. It's but they know even they even know the days of the week. They know it's a Saturday that people are home. They probably loved it during the COVID period when even hunting wasn't allowed. <laughs> I've seen them around here in the past. Usually one will come out and say, Hi Sheila. Yeah, I had a lot of them speak to me. <sighs> saying hi. I don't blame them for hiding. I've seen them when they've spoken to them when I've seen them hiding. When there's been the actual hunt on. And I've known where they are, the, the, the deer. All gathering and frightened. Beautiful though, isn't it? I actually quite enjoy walking out um, on this part of the walk than coming back. When I'm coming back, I've already had done a massive hike. And although I still like this, I know I'm getting, I was getting back to Alberta, but it always seems so long, this bit, and I was, when I was tired and all that. But um, it's so beautiful. This is, autumn is extended this year, I think. Last year, the autumn came very fast. Started in August. There's been a lot of water for the trees this year. They've enjoyed it. They really are looking well, all of them. Streams are foolish. I expect someone to come along in a minute. Oh, I'll take some photos and well, breathing the air, the pure oxygen, after what I have to tolerate in the building I'm in sometimes, people's cooking habits, people's other things that they do, they've got pets, they, they put flea bombs down without telling you, and you're choking on the, on the chemicals, it's, that's the trouble when you've got a flat in a shared building. Yeah, this is, this is a problem, really. Beggars can't be choosers. Apart from that, I know I can get out here, so it's a massive compensation. Massive. No one paddling their feet in the stream? Not now, in the summer they would have been down here picnicking. Children playing and laughing and playing in the streams. Babbling Brook. I've been lucky so far, no one's come along. <laughs> Thing is, I walk slow, so although I thought there might be no one behind me, don't take long. Don't take long at all. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now, folks. Take the odd picture. Over and out.